Hello, my name is Jonathan Tesco, and today we will be looking at various editing tools in Cubase 7. I have the Elements version. So we're looking at two guitar tracks recorded with two different microphones, and we are going to make a comp track. And first we're going to look at trimming the edges. You can see here my grid is turned on, so the when I move it, it snaps to the grid. If I want it not to snap to the grid, to free flow, um, I press control, and that'll make it move smoothly in between the grid points. Alternatively, I can go up and press on the grid button, turn the grid off, so everything moves smoothly. However, I like to leave the grid on so things snap to and from the grid. You can always use control if you want it to move in between. So I'm, I'm zooming here, and unfortunately you can't see where the zoom is. Uh, if you have Cubase, you'll see it's on the bottom right. So now I'm cutting. Uh, you can either just scroll over an audio track and press Alt, and that'll bring up a scissors tool, or you can select the scissors tool from the toolbar. And also right-clicking anywhere will bring up the toolbar there. We're adding an audio track. Uh, this will be my comp track, so I can bring different segments into it and have all the good audio in one place. I'm going to recolor things. That's the color box up there. I'll make this purple and green in the middle so we can differentiate. And next, I'll be making a marker track just to organize the, the song a little bit. I already have uh, an opening for a click and an intro. And I'm going to put in a one for a verse here. Uh, this is the Add Marker button. And I'm going to go up and name it up here. That is the Info bar, which you can turn on and off by selecting down at the bottom, Hide Info or Show Info. And how you get those options are by either pressing Control or Alt and right-clicking, and you will get those options. So here I'm moving a segment, and see I didn't copy it. When you just move it, it moves it. If you want to leave a copy there, press Alt while you're moving it, and it leaves you a copy. And we can also select the Highlight tool to select a couple measures and drag those away without cutting things. And you also want to use Alt to leave a copy. And now we have the intro in our comp track. So I'm going to listen to this. I'm going to set up the loop. Um, to get the left arrow, you click Control and right left click. And to get the right arrow, you press Alt and left click. So Control and Alt are your left and right arrows for the loop. And I'm going to turn on the loop, which is that button up there, and listen. And I hear clicking in the seams. So I'm going to crossfade. Uh, so how I do that is select, using control, select the two different segments I want to crossfade between. And then holding control, you right click to bring up your options and go up to audio. And under audio is crossfade. And it'll bring up your crossfade menu box. I like to put each crossfade as a beat um, for this video just so you can see. So that's that's what I'm doing when I put a little one in the in the menu, crossfade menu. And I'm also not sure why it took me a couple times. Usually it just takes one time selecting crossfade to bring up the crossfade menu. So um, things were acting funny here. All right, so we're putting in three different crossfades for the three different seams. And everything looks all right. Oops, I didn't. I, I messed up here and uh, just made it one beat or one part of a beat long, so I'm going to go back and fix that. And the only thing left to do now is to merge uh, the audio regions. And in Cubase, they don't call it merge, we call it bounce. So we want to make sure we select the entire region we want to bounce, put together, merge, and then right-click with control, go up to audio, and go down to bounce selection. 
It'll ask you if you want to replace events. Say yes, replace. And there you are, one audio track. Uh, it's a new saved file on our hard drive. And to rename it, uh, we show the info and go up and rename it up there like we did our markers. So that's how to do various things in Cubase 7. We learned uh, trim and cut, create audio tracks, rename tracks, rename regions, recolor tracks, create marker tracks and markers, move segments, set our loop arrows and turn on the loop, crossfading, zooming, bouncing, and uh, I hope you learned something from this lesson, and good luck with the rest of the course. Thank you.